Before I delve into 10 facts about the Titanic that you probably didn't know, I'll give you a brief outline of what happened to this so-called unsinkable ship. At approximately 11.40pm on the 14th of April 1912, the Titanic struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic Ocean. She sunk around 2 hours and 40 minutes later on the 15th of April at 2.20am. The Titanic was dubbed unsinkable due to the advanced safety features that she possessed, such as watertight compartments and remotely activated watertight doors. However, six of the Titanic's forward compartments opened after hitting the iceberg, with the Titanic only being able to stay afloat if no more than four of her forward compartments were flooded. The crew quickly realised that the Titanic would sink, exposing them to the icy water below. With that being said, here are 10 facts about the Titanic that you probably didn't know. Number 1. There were 12 dogs on board the Titanic altogether and out of these 12 dogs, only 3 survived. The 3 small dogs were 2 Pomeranians and a Pekingese. One of the Pomeranians was called Lady and belonged to Miss Margaret Hayes, aged 24. The other, whose name is unknown, was owned by Mrs Elizabeth Barrett Rothschild. The crew of the rescue ship were reluctant to let her on board with her dog, however she told them that she would remain in the lifeboat if the dog could not accompany her. Sun Yat-sen was a Pekingese named after the first president of the Republic of China. He was taken onto a lifeboat with his owner Henry Sleeper Harper who was a publisher. Number 2. The binoculars that would have enabled the crew to look out for potential hazards such as icebergs were locked away. They were kept in a locker in the crow's nest, however the key to the locker was not on board the ship. This is because David Blair, a British merchant seaman, was reassigned to another ship at the last minute and took the keys with him. One of the lookouts, Fred Fleet, who survived the Titanic, later insisted that the absence of binoculars was one of the main contributing factors to the Titanic's ultimate demise. Number 3. The most expensive ticket sold on the Titanic was a $4,350 first class ticket. That's the equivalent of $69,600 in today's money. Number 4. The sea that night had a temperature of around 0 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature in which a person could normally only survive for a maximum of 15 minutes. The chief baker on the Titanic, Charles Dufin, decided to give up his place on the lifeboat. Instead, he went down with the sinking ship, but drank so much alcohol beforehand that he no longer felt the cold of the water in which he floated. After spending two hours swimming in the water, he was pulled onto an overturned lifeboat and was eventually picked up by a rescue ship. Number 5. The love story of Rose and Jack featured in James Cameron's Titanic is fictional, but there were couples aboard the ship who experienced a similar fate. One example is the co-owner of the American department store Macy's and his wife, Isidore and Ida Strauss. Both were offered a seat in a lifeboat, however Isidore refused, insisting that women and children should go on before him. His wife Ida in turn did not want to be rescued without her husband and is reported to have said, I will not be separated from my husband as we have lived and so we will die together. There's a plaque which commemorates the couple who chose to share death at Macy's department store in New York City. Number 6. The full moon could be to blame for the Titanic's collision with an iceberg. National Geographic's Richard A. Levatt wrote, the full moon on January 4, 1912 may have created unusually strong tides that sent a flotilla of icebergs southward, just in time for Titanic's maiden voyage. This wasn't a normal full moon, it was the closest lunar approach, in fact, since AD 796, and Earth won't see anything like it again until 2257. 
Number seven. There was a film released just one month after the Titanic sank called Saved from the Titanic. It featured actress Dorothy Gibson, who was aboard the Titanic and survived. Arriving in New York City unharmed, she immediately began filming. It was released in May 1912, a month after the crash. Gibson even wore the same clothes and shoes that she had worn during the actual sinking. Number eight. There were 709 third-class passengers aboard the Titanic, but only two bathtubs. Many of the third-class passengers had never even seen a flushing toilet before, so their on-board accommodation was actually a step up from what they were used to. Number 9. The Titanic was plagued by tragedy from the start. Eight men died during the construction of the ship, but only five of their names are known. Samuel Scott, John Kelly, William Clark, James Dobbin and Robert Murphy. A plaque memorialising the eight men in Belfast was unveiled in 2012. Number 10. Many newspapers reported that the Titanic's collision with an iceberg caused no fatalities. These included the Daily Mail, the Belfast Telegraph and the World. American newspapers were able to take advantage of the time difference and their headlines were more accurate. Thank you for watching this video, please like it if you enjoyed and subscribe for weekly uploads.